Mets are still looking for their first victory of the season. Tigers right now one of four unbeaten teams in Major League Baseball. Sean Manaya gets the ball for the first time as a Met tonight. He looked good during the spring. Last four starts of the year last year pitched to a 2.25 ERA signed a two year deal with the Mets. Veerling the former Philly went to Detroit in the deal that sent Gregory Soto to Philadelphia. And it's hit in the air to center field chasing Bader back to the warning track he runs it down. Here's Andy Ibanez seventh pitch of the bat to Ibanez and he struck him out the first punch out for Sean Benaya still looking for his first extra base hit of the year torque is and Torkelson bloops one behind short back goes Lindor and he's got it and Benaya's first inning as a Met goes one two three Mets getting ready to face the 24 year old native of Gainesville Georgia Reese Olsen first start of the year for Reese Brandon Nimmo off to a rough start two two from Olsen throws a slider at his feet and he hit him and Nimmo goes to first base. So the Mets get a lead off base runner on the hit by pitch. Here's Francisco Lindor like Nimmo off to a rough start just one for 12 to start the year but he's always hit well against the Tiger. Nimmo runs and it's outside ball four and so Olsen after hitting Nimmo walks Lindor. So here's Alonzo with a couple of men on. Pete starts the night needing one RBI to reach 500. Alonzo swings and pops up a fastball. Torkelson has lost it, and now he finds it. He was kind of spreading his arms out like I don't see it. So there was Ibanez ready to help out. One away, and now Francisco Alvarez. Only the second time in his career Alvarez has been asked to hit cleanup. And this is a ground ball to shortstop. It's Baez. It's Ibanez, and it is a double play. Reese Olsen gets out of a big first inning jam. Riley Green leading off for the Tigers in the second. Eighth pitch of the at bat to Green. And he struck him out with a high fastball. So Manias retired the first four, his second strikeout. And Mark Canna will be the batter. Nice little reception. Mets had a nice video tribute to Mark on the board before the game. Mark is now 35 years old and he carves one to shallow right and there's Marte. Two out. And now the designated hitter, Jake Rogers. Swing and a miss. Manaya threw a fastball by Jake Rogers. Six up and six down for Manaya with three Ks. Rochelle at two for four to start the year. He was a late signing for Detroit. They didn't get him until after the start of spring training. That one he dials up to 94 to strike out Rochelle. So four strikeouts, seven batters. A beautiful start for Sean Manaya in his Mets debut. There's Javi Baez, to whom you don't generally have to throw a strike. And he goes down swinging, and Manaya just keeps on rolling. He's got five strikeouts. He's retired the first eight batters. Now Carson Kelly drives one out to center, and Harrison Bader is right there. And a 1 2 3 inning for Sean Manaya. He's gone perfectly through the first three. Manaya, five strikeouts through his first nine batters. Two years ago with the Padres, last year with the Giants. Alonso into foul territory, squeezes that one, and that's 10 straight for Sean Manaya. As strike three called, as Ibanez is down on strikes, and that's six games for Manaya. Here's the 1 0. Has popped in the sky towards medium depth center field. Easy play for Bader, who comes trotting in. Two hand catch, side retired. 12 up and 12 down for Sean Manaya. What a nice beginning to his Mets career. And Reese Olsen keeping the Mets at zero as well. Reese start Marte in with his two seamer, go away with the fastball now and go back in. Right at Baez. That's pitching. And the Tigers had their first base runner of the game. As Mark Canna steps in. 3 2 coming to Mark Canna. Green runs and Canna drives one to deep center field. Back goes Bader onto the warning track to make the catch. Green retreating to first base and he gets back safely. Bader able to get back and grab it for a long first out. I felt he thought he had it. Strike three call. Got him looking at a fastball. Rogers strikes out for the second time, and that's now seven for Sean Manaya. He's a guy with above average speed. That's driven to left field, chasing Nimmo back. He's there, side retired. A couple of hard hit balls in the inning, but Manaya has not allowed a hit through five. Infield single with one out. Bader at first. He hops into his lead. He holds, and that pitch is right there. Wendell was certainly not thinking fastball. Brandon Nimmo, there goes Bader, and it's a ground ball to second that flattened out on Ibanez. It caught the front lip, and Torque does scoop that thing. Sean Manaya starts the fifth inning, having not allowed a hit. And Baez goes down swinging on the curveball. 
Eight strikeouts from Manaya that matches the most he had in the game last year. So there's the second long shots given up. It goes to the number nine hitter Kelly. There's Matt Veerling, 0 for two. Slowly hit. Beatty has to charge. Tough play on the run, and he got him by a stride. Nicely done by Brett Beatty to retire Veerling for the second out as Kelly moves to second. And thus the Tigers get a runner into scoring position for the first time. Andy Abondi has the batter who struck out twice. And he lines one toward the whole base hit. To third is Kelly. He's being waved home. The throw by Nimmo to the plate on a hop. Outwards with the tag. He got him. Brandon Nimmo guns down Carson Kelly at the plate to keep this game scoreless. The Tigers get their first hit. Cannot take the lead. Alvarez took a shoulder right in the head. Saw so Carson Kelly just reach out and tap Francisco Alvarez. The Confederacy of Catchers. And now Alvarez apparently no worse for wear. Hit sharply into left center field, a base hit. Cutting over his Veerling to get it. Alvarez takes the turn, he's going to try it. Veerling's throw to second, and he's safe! A hustle double for Francisco Alvarez. That's the end of the day for Reese Olsen. 3-0 swing from Stewart. In the air, left field. Canna breaks it down and scores the final out on 3-0. Torkelson grew up in Northern California. Pulls one on the ground. Beatty with a nice stop going to his left and throws him out. Second fine play for Beatty in the last two innings. And he struck him out. Jorge Lopez fans Jake Rogers to keep it a scoreless game in the seventh. And that go ahead man is aboard to start the bottom of the eighth. Francisco Lindor, who's 0 for 2 with a walk. The 1 2. Swing and a miss. He got him with the beauty of a slider under the bat. Pete Alonso's got 0 for 3 tonight. And a wave and a miss. A slider for Alonso takes him down, and Fiedo back to back strikeouts. Wanted to third. It's Urshela, and it is a ninth inning with no runs. Scoreless game now in the ninth, and Edwin Diaz makes his second appearance. Fastball in there, strike three called. Dialed that up to 97 after several sliders. One, two. T struck him out. Three sliders in a row to get Carpenter, and Diaz starts the ninth with back-to-back -back strikeouts. And a little pop-up behind second base. Back goes Lindor over the shoulder. He makes the grab. Side retired. Nicely done by Lindor. So two out and nobody on. Brett Beatty trying to prevent there from being a tenth inning. Beatty rips one in the right center field for a base hit. Over quickly as Carpenter to cut it off. And Beatty will hold with a two out single. Jeff McNeil is now going to pinch hit. And that'll do it. 101 with a vapor trail. We're headed to extra innings. First and third. At least the double play is open at this point. Cold Keith will pinch hit for Jake Rogers. Right side, tough play, mishandled by Wendell. Everybody safe. The first wobble of the night leads to the first run of the night, and the Tigers have taken the lead in the tenth. Round ball off the glove of Tonkin. He picks it up and has no play. If he lets that ball go, it's a double play. With Tommy Baez up. It's a fastball. It's hit to center field. It is Nimmo loading up. And the throw coming in goes bounding left. The Tigers get a run on a sack fly from Javi Baez. Carson Kelly, A.J. Hinch once again has unloaded the entire bench. That ball is cranked deep to left field and gone. Carson Kelly detonates this 10th inning. Carson Kelly, two out, three run home run, five nothing Tigers in the 10th. And so the Mets, who have yet to achieve a victory this year, are down to their final out. Lifted left center field. Riley Green moved over there. He makes the catch. The Tigers put away another extra inning win, and it's 4-0 to open the season. The Mets lose their fourth straight to start the season for the first time since 2005.